Are you ready to talk about ethnicity? My heritage DNA test? I thought you were. Well, I took some notes on some things I thought you might want to talk about or watch a video about. How about this one? What ethnicity are you trying to prove? I say that for myself too. I, mean, I already know the answer. And I feel like I've talked about it before, but it's funny because we're paying money for these DNA tests. We care about what they say. And it's not so much about what do we hope doesn't show up. Cause I mean, for me, I, I wanted all the bases of the world to show up for all I care. But was there anything that anybody hoped that they wouldn't show up in their ethnicity test? What are we, what are we ultimately trying to prove through taking DNA tests? Is it to prove that we're diverse? Cause I think especially here in America, that's especially thanks to social media and our culture here in America is that it's all about diversity. So if we can prove that we're diverse, we win. I mean, I won. Yay, celebrate me, because I'm diverse. I am, I'm Central American, and I'm European, and I'm Jewish, and I'm African, and I'm, and I'm Jewish, did I ever say that? Middle Eastern, yeah. I'm all those things, yeah, celebrate me. I win, I get to be diverse. But I, I do think that that's the ultimate, the ultimate bragging rights is to prove how diverse we are <laughs> through these things. This, I mean, this is scientific proof, you know, before, before recently we, we couldn't, we couldn't prove it and brag on that, how diverse we are and share it on Facebook. Now I could be wrong, but ultimately, I mean, it's one thing to celebrate internally, like, oh, I finally get to know what I am. But I think there's a part of us too, if we're honest, that gets to celebrate how diverse we are. I don't think anyone takes a test to celebrate how they're just one thing. In fact, I remember when I was, when I had ordered my test for my heritage, there's a, there's a Jewish girl from Israel uh, on Twitter who'd found me and uh, she shared her results and it showed she was a hundred percent Jewish. I mean, the, the little map there was right there like in Israel and just kind of barely shot it out from there, but 100% Jewish. And she was so disappointed and said, my, my results are so boring, you know? I don't think anybody wants to be 100% of anything, do they? The whole point is to prove I am diverse. I've got an interesting story. It took people from all across the world going on many journeys to create me. See, I get to say that but not everyone does. And I think, I think that's how you win at these DNA tests is that if you get to prove how diverse you are, I've talked to many people who have taken these tests and the most dissatisfied people are the ones who pretty much everything shows up in the same place. Like, you know, in Northern Europe, for example, or if it's like all just kind of British, like those people are always disappointed by that. And then when they hear mine, they're like, oh man, I wish mine could have been that cool. So please tell me your thoughts on this because that's the perception I keep seeing. It's worth celebrating when it's diverse and when it's not, it's boring and disappointing. If you disagree, please comment. And if you agree, help me feel like I am not crazy for saying such opinions on the internet and back me up in the comments right here.